My name is Robert Ye. I'm a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School and the section chief of interventional cardiology at Beth Israel Deacon's Medical Center. We'll be talking about the agent IDE trial, a trial of a drug eluting balloon versus conventional angioplasty for patients with coronary instant restenosis. Instant restenosis is actually quite common still, despite the advances in drug eluting stents. Uh, in a recent analysis that that we participated in, 10% or more of all PCIs done in the United States are for instant restenosis. And these patients commonly undergo restenting and have extraordinarily high rates of recurrent events after that. Um, and some of these events are not benign. In fact, a large proportion of these events, a significant proportion of the events actually are unstable presentations with non-ST elevation myocardial infarctions, unstable angina. Uh, and we just have limited options to treat these patients, particularly after they've had one or two stents put in the same artery where we have just balloon angioplasty or uh, the need to put in yet additional an additional layer of metal, which is sometimes not optimal for the patient. The agent balloon is a paclitaxel coated uh, balloon angioplasty catheter. Um, the balloon uh, catheter itself is a highly highly deliverable, highly pushable catheter, so it's easy to uh, deliver it into uh, previously placed stents. Uh, and then paclitaxel itself is, is a particularly good drug for this indication and for this use, which is to be able to apply a drug that stays in the vessel wall after a short application or balloon inflation. It's very distinct from the properties that one requires for a stent or a drug eluting stent. Um, paclitaxel itself is lipophilic, it tends to stay within tissue uh, once delivered, even for a 30-second or one-minute inflation. And that's where you want it to stay so it can do the work that it needs to do. And in this particular formulation of paclitaxel on the Asian balloon, it is sort of a, a, for lack of a better word, a sticky crystalline structure that tends to embed quite well in a low-dose low formulation into the vessel wall. The Agent IDE trial was a randomized trial. A randomization occurred in a two-to-one ratio with every two patients allocated to receive the paclitaxel eluting balloon versus one patient allocated to receive conventional balloon angioplasty. Patients who were randomized were those who had instant restenosis of a native coronary vessel of diameter between two and four millimeters and a lesion length of less than 26 millimeters. Uh, patients had to be treated successfully with a residual uh, stenos diameter stenosis of less than 50%. And at that point, they were randomized to either uh, the agent balloon or conventional balloon angioplasty. Well, the primary outcomes uh, was uh, the composite endpoint of target lesion failure at one year, uh, which was the combination of ischemia-driven uh, target vessel uh, revascularization uh, excuse me, ischemia-driven target lesion revascularization, target vessel myocardial infarction, or cardiac death. And uh, in the primary analysis, uh, patients treated with uh, the, the, the paclitaxel-coated balloon, agent paclitaxel balloon, had a, uh, a, a reduction in uh, the primary endpoint by 10 percentage points. Uh, so the POBA arm, or the conventional angioplasty arm, had an event rate at one year of 28.7%. Uh, compared to 17.9% uh, receiving the agent drug-coated balloon. It was a highly significant p-value of 0 0.0063. In addition, looking at the component endpoints, the ischemia-driven target lesion revascularization was reduced by about 50% with treatment with the paclitaxel balloon. Uh, in addition, target vessel myocardial infarction was also reduced by 50%. And finally, stent thrombosis occurred in no patients receiving the paclitaxel eluting balloon, but it occurred in six patients uh, receiving conventional balloon angioplasty. So we think these results were highly favorable for the Asian balloon, uh, really demonstrating that the balloon itself is highly effective, certainly uh, much more effective than conventional balloon angioplasty uh, for our patient population. Well, I think the real take home message is that we now have a device uh, hopefully soon in the United States, which will be able to be a really excellent alternative uh, to placement of an additional drug-eluting balloon. Certainly, 
an alternative that is superior clearly to conventional balloon angioplasty for patients with ISR. Uh, we think this is going to be an extraordinarily welcome uh, occurrence in the United States. In the United States, this trial enrolled much faster than anticipated. That's really rare, uh, even during a post-COVID time period where we were enrolling uh, patients so quickly. And, and that's because that reflects really the 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 enthusiasm and the clinical need for a device uh, for practitioners in the United States who have not had a coronary drug eluting balloon at their disposal. Well, I think this is really just the beginning. We have many other potential applications of drug uh, drug coated balloons. Um, ISR is one of them, but we have long diffuse vessel disease. We have small vessels, treatment with bifurcations, treatment of native coronary vessels that have not been previously stented. So I think that all of these questions still remain for the application of drug eluting balloons in the coronary circulation. Of course, we want to dive more deeply into the analysis of the subgroup populations within the agent trial itself. And there's actually an additional uh, set of patients who are enrolled. So this total sample size ultimately of the trial will be 600 patients. And I'm just reporting now the first 480, which were the original design uh, of the trial. This was uh, a, a joint effort in partnership with Boston Scientific, uh, my study co-chair, Dr. Ajay Kirthane, and an, an incredibly talented and diverse steering committee. So um, I think a lot of people's hard work went into pulling off a very successful trial, and, and, and everybody is quite proud of the work. Mm -hmm.